Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Shitham Review and Visions and today we're going to react on Russian Special Force, Military Special Force man and their army is great and this is the video is all about the Russian Special Force University and this is going to be an interesting video man so we're going to know about the uh, training of uh, Russian Special Forces and Russian military navy and everything they're all about their techniques and all about their um, practices and all about their combat skills so let's move into the video and see what this Russian Special Force University look like man so let's start the video the Russian Special Forces University is the first and only private Russian company intended to provide professional training and development of Whoa. Special Forces. That's something new we have heard. August 1st, 2013, as the International Training Center for Special Forces, under the patronage of the head of the Republic of Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov. Oh, oh. 2017, the center was renamed as the Russian Special Forces University. The university is being developed thanks to private investments on the territory of over 450 hectares in the city of Putera. That is a big area, man. This is a multifunctional complex of more than 95 buildings and facilities. A tactics town with buildings and structures characteristic of urban and rural. It is a private company from Russia. Practice of combat, hostage release operations, or any other scenarios in close to real conditions. Included in the complex is a rock climbing wall and an area for practicing anti-terror operations on all kinds of transport with scaled models of the assault objects, airplane, train, bus, and other vehicles. The That's a great university, man, set conditions for, for the Russians. Airborne, mountain, forest, water, and other types of training. The university has one of the world's biggest covered shooting ranges, about 35 hectares. The main building area is 55,000 square meters. The created infrastructure allows for about 500 people to live and train in the center. About 1,000 people can use training facilities simultaneously. And a That's something cool. mountain training ground was created in the village of Chiski for the training of climbers. Another mountain training ground is being created near the village of Nasha. It is expected that the university will reach full working capacity at the end of 2019. The university leadership says that its main task is to transfer the anti-terrorist experience accumulated in the Chechen Republic to special units and units of various special services of Russia. The university is also open to work with foreigners. According to experts, the main partners may be the countries of the Arab world and Latin America, as well as member states of the Commonwealth of Independent States. Negotiations Great. are underway with representatives of Belarus, Kazakhstan, and China. Belarus. The head of the National Guard of Russia, Kazakhstan, Chechen China, Republic, man. Daniel Martinov curates the Russian Special Forces University. He also leads the instructor team. According to him, the university has 45 instructors in various fields and has plans to increase staff. Martinov says that the instructor team possesses unique experience in preparing and conducting special operations. All trainers are special forces officers with many having extensive combat experience. That's great, man. Work, instructors complete additional training under a special program developed by the university together with the Russian State University of Physical Culture and Sports in Moscow. In accordance with Russian law, officers and government employees do have the right to engage in scientific and teaching activities. The university's training programs cover such areas as firearms training, tactical and special, airborne, mountain, diving, security and military medical training, dog training, auto training, engineering, IT training, and courses for war correspondents. The university also provides for the training of security guards of senior officials and employees of security companies, including general physical training, guarded person tactics, escorting. That is a great university meant to study. Aid, preventive safety measures, counter sniping, hand to hand combat, and special training. Education and training of both civilian and Russian military personnel takes place on a paid contract basis. 
A separate direction of work is tactical and special training in Arctic conditions. In April 2016, a team comprised of members from the Russian National Guard Troops Flying Squad, who were trained at a special program developed by the university's instructors with the support from the Russian Geographic Society, conducted tactical and special exercises in the Arctic. The group, together with instructors, landed three times at the North Pole and practiced various special training techniques in the Arctic for three weeks. For example, as part of the exercises, a group of 20 people arriving via an IL-76 carried out an 8-kilometer march well, man, in full combat. That's something new. The group detected and destroyed the command post of a conditional enemy. The expedition was headed by Daniel Martinov. Another widely covered tactical training exercise in the Arctic took place in April 2018. The Arctic group included members of the instructor group of the Russian University of Special Forces Ooh. Flying Squad, the Special Rapid Reaction Unit of the Russian Guard in the Chechen Republic, Terek, the Special Rapid Reaction Unit, Lynx, and the Special Operations Center, Pytiaz. The first stage of the exercises was held at the nuclear icebreaker Soviet Union in Murmansk. Whoa, the second man. phase took place on the Alexandra Islands, a group of five islands in the Franz Josef Land archipelago. Oh, so the video is ended, I think. Apparently, training of the students of this private educational institution served as a nutritious broth for the burning exposures of the special operations of the Russian special forces conducting reconnaissance against key objects and critical infrastructure well, man. in just Svalbard, at least as it was portrayed in a release by Western media. Proponents of these revelations went so far as to carry out an open source investigation on Instagram and found alleged university students taking cunning pictures at Svalbard <laughs> Airport. They're taking they pictures, to man. convince the audience that a Russian task force had secretly crossed the border, landed in Svalbard, <laughs> carried out the planned special operations, and among other things, made a couple photos for Instagram, and then the whole group secretly flew to Russia from the local airport magically passing through passport control <laughs> on the border. During the six years of its existence, the Russian Special Forces University has become the most famous and professional public training center for task forces and private military and security contractors around the world. The active and successful participation of Russia-linked private military contractors in conflicts in the Middle East and Africa has once again raised in Russia the question of the possibility of legislative permission to create private military companies within the jurisdiction of Russia. If the creation of such companies is legally permitted, the role of the Russian Special Forces University in the training and retraining of employees of such companies will increase even more. In addition to the formally declared patriotic goals, the creation of the Russian Special Forces University has a purely practical dimension. In the event of further successes, the university will become a significant source of income for elite groups associated with the head of Chechnya, Ramsay <laughs> Katerov. It will become a factor this is all about the money, man. influence of the Katerov group in the North Caucasus region and in Russia as a whole. The university this is all about money, man. The best specialists to the positions of instructors or highly paid consultants. The best young active service members of law enforcement agencies and task forces undergo extra training in various programs there. It is important to note that the Russian army is a warring army. Over the past decades, Russian forces have participated in numerous anti-terrorist operations and peacekeeping operations, such as with the deployment of paratroopers in Kosovo. In 2008, Russia conducted a successful peace enforcing operation in response to the aggression of the Saakashvili regime in South Ossetia. Another successful operation was performed in Crimea in 2014. The Russian operation in Syria, which started in 2015, turned the tide of the conflict. The only other major power which constantly and even more intensively uses its military forces 
is the United States. However, there is a noticeable difference between the Russian and American approaches. The U.S. armed forces make a significant bet on technology and gaining a technological advantage over the enemy. The Russian side relies on training and high qualifications of its personnel, soldiers, and officers. Thus, it turns out that the most trained warriors in the modern world are Russians. So, man, it's a great concept of uh, having a Russian university, and it is real, man. Russia is running this uh, since 2000, maybe 14 or 13. They said, I don't know, but they are running this whole thing, and this university is having a great time. They said, and this is cool, man. This is really cool to watch the Russian special for the universities. A private company that is having and producing great armed forces and great military personnel man and that's the main thing that's the main real uh, main output we the people need from there but there is uh, some uh, bad effect of having a private company giving and making uh, this type of armed personnel they are highly skilled so th so there can be a conflict and there can also be um, happen any kind of uh, war between the civil war because uh, people can have this type of skill and it is dangerous sometimes it could be dangerous but it is a great initiative and good initiative and russia only have this thing russia in this whole world russia only have this special force university where the public can go and have this kind of russian skill army skill and they can just be like a russian warrior and they can join the army after this and they can just go on a any mission man that's really innovative thing and that's really cool man to watch so thank you for watching man please let me know what you think about this russian special force university and i'm going to link give a link of russian uh, military here and also i'm going to give the link of russian military forces modern modern forces about um, video that is all about russian modern forces and uh, so you can go and watch those videos here and here click those videos and watch those videos now you can know all about the russian modern weapons and russian modern military forces so thank you for watching man please subscribe my channel and share the video thank you